Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In today's video, I am going to show you the fastest way to install Lucy on the OpenWRT. So if you are using the OpenWRT snapshot version, for example, the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B or the D-Link DIR-A42C2, Lucy is not installed by default and you need to install it on your own. So this is the step to install Lucy. You need to have an internet connection. And after that, you are going to update the application database using the OPKG update and lastly, OPKG install Lucy. However, for the Raspberry Pi 4, in which we are using it as an assembler, it is only a single network port. And in this case, we are going to set up the device at the wireless client which means it will be connected to the internet from an asset point or a hotspot and after that it is going to have an internet connection right so this is our network diagram this is the asset point uh, the hotspot that i have and then this is the raspberry pi 4 and it's connected to the pc first of all let me ping the router if it is reachable Right, so we have a good response from the Raspberry Pi 4 running OpenVRT and let's see if we can accept it via Lucy's and I think it should be not, alright, nothing at all. Right, so now we need to establish the SSH connection to the routers. I'm using uh, Putis, let's open and then yes and then the rules and the no password set, alright, so we can leave it for now. So if you run ifconfig, you will see that we have Ethernet 0, which is our LAN interface. So now I'm going to start a Wi Fi hotspot on my phone, right? So let's start it. Hotspot. And then, as you can see, this is my current hotspot. We have the SSID event TC underscore demo, and the password is AABBCCDD. So we are going to set it up on OpenWRT. Right, so first of all, we need to edit the wireless configuration file to establish the wireless client. Right, so this is what we have and press I to switch to the insert mode. For the channels, I will change it to R2. For the hardware mode, since we are using the 2.4 GHz band, so we have to change this one to G or N. And for the Raspberry Pi 4, it's only work in the legacy mode that's why i'm using g right so for your case you can change it to n or you can even leave it blank right so for the ht mode it is not applicable so just delete it and option disable delete it as well because we want to enable the interface and then let's go to the config if phase the file radio the network it will be WWAN wireless WAN and then on the option mode we want to set it up at a wireless client or a Wi-Fi client so it should be STA on the address ID I need to change it to van tc underscore demo and encryption it will be PSK2 right and then options key I will put it in A A B B C C D D. All right, so just that, and we are all done. Let's press the E S C key and then, yep, right click. Right, so we're done with the wallet configuration file, and now we need to edit the firewall file, right? Okay, press I to switch to the insert mode, and then. We have the config zone. This is our one zone and on the list network, we have the one and one six. So we need to add our interface to it as well. So list. Network. And then WWAN, right? Just that. EXCs and then WQ. And lastly, so etc slash config slash network, right? Enter and press the I key to switch to the insert mode as always. 
and now we need to add a interface configuration so it should be config interface an and then on the option it should be proto and then the the hcp and that's it right so right and quick Right, so as you can see right now, we are connected to the Raspberry Pi 4, but we have no internet connection because we don't have a working internet, right? So after this, we still have no internet connection because we haven't restart the network service. So let's just do it. Service network restart. Right, so it had been completed the reload it complete and the reload it completed and let's check pink 1.1.1.1 look right so we have the response from 1.1.1.1 and if you check the phone we have one connected device so now we should have a wookie internet connection right just like this so now we need to run opkg update to update the package database, right? This is the third step. And then opkg install Lucy. Why we are install Lucy on the Raspberry Pi 4? Let me talk a little bit more about the installation on all the device. For example, if you're having the D-Link DAF-A42C2 and you have the LAN port and the WAN port, so you can either follow this setup to set up an internet connection with the wireless connection or you can connect the WAN port of the DIR-A42C2 to another working router and have the internet connection. So you can just skip the first step, set up one interface, but we can just directly connect it to any working router. And the last three steps should be the same, right? So let's back and Lucy install and let's check it, right? So refresh the page. It's still not reachable. Is there something wrong? 1.92.168.1.1 Right, so we are inside Lucy's and there is no power set, so let's click login. And guys, so this is Raspberry Pi 4 version B and then it's a, and it is running OpenBRT snapshot version. Right, so that's all about this short tutorial and I hope that this will have those who are new to OpenWRT on the installation of Lucy. All right, so remember that every time you go to system and then perform a recess or you are installing a new image without the tick of reserve configuration, Lucy will be removed and you need to install it again. All right, so just a reminder on that. And that's it all about this video. So if you see this video, if you see the video is helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to support me. And as always, if there are any questions or idea, feel free to leave it in the comment section and we will surely discuss. And lastly, we have a Facebook page where you can receive the latest notification as well as the Facebook group, Vantage Corner and Friends. So where you can discuss and share the information about your projects or your problem and we can discuss it together so make sure to check them out thanks for watching and i will be see you in the next video bye bye